I'm Matt Caber Tools. Today we are going to do a versus video between the Metabo 12 volt multi head drill driver against the Hilti 12 volt multi head drill driver. Now, when it comes to this video, I only have one because this is not mine. This is my good friend Robert Bates. I only have one head for the Metabos, but that is really what the test is about anyways. We are going to do a test with and without the head. All right, we're going to do a test with the quarter inch hex collet on both of them and the regular chuck that goes on it. Let's look at the specs of these really quick and just get to it. All right, so the Metabo with a four amp hour battery weighs two pounds and zero nine point two ounces. And the Hilti with a four amp hour battery weighs two pounds and 13.0 ounces. Ready for the logs, we are gonna take the chucks out. We are just gonna use the quarter, inch, the quarter inch hex inside. Now I will say this, the Metabo has a 3 8 inch plastic chuck and the Hilti has a half inch fully metal chuck. Let's see how their magnets are. Metabo's magnet is all right. Let's feel Hilti's magnet. It's all right as well. They're not the most powerful magnets. Both of them are fairly weak. Like, it, like it, it doesn't take much of an effort at all to take them out. Yeah, they're both, I'd say they're both equally as strong. The battery is full. Four amp hour battery, lithium HD. Speed one. Right, let's do that test again on speed two. It's able to do it on speed one. Let's see if it can do it on speed two. Nope, it cuts out, makes that self-destruction noise. All right, so let's, let's give it one more pull. I doubt that either of these can do it on speed two. Nope, and it won't let me go further than that. So it went in like about an inch. Right, so let's just take that out on speed one. I use speed one for these tools anyway, so when it cut, like I rarely use speed two. Let's do this on speed one. Battery is full. I love the double purpose uh, eject button. Tells you the battery life. Time. All right, let's see if we can do it on speed two. A little bit more, I don't want it overlapping. Nope, it, I'll give it one more pull. Nope, it failed on speed two. So both of them failed on speed two. Like I said, I use speed one for everything anyways. All right, so let's uh, take Metabos out. Ooh, that's not good. That's stripped. Or it's the wrong size. I think that one's stripped. Let's see if this fits better. Yep, uh, that's the wrong size. What brand is this? It doesn't say, it's probably Ryobi. Ryobi's bits are garbage, you guys. I hate Ryobi bits. I, lo I love the Ryobi brand, but their bits are garbage. I did a TikTok video of it. Time. See, a 12 volt tools driving in this stuff is amazing. Right, let's do Hilti. Time. All right, next, let's do a six inch specs. And remember, this piece of wood is tough. This is a, it's a, this, I wish I had this wood since the beginning of the channel. It's nice wood to test with. It is on drill, by the way. Let's do speed two. If it fails, then we'll try again somewhere else. Six inch specs, Hilti nut setter bits. Nope, it failed on speed two. Requires speed one to take it out. All right, let's do speed one. You can do it. 
time. All right, let's try speed two for Hilti. Nope, it failed as well. Take it out on speed one. Now let's do it right here. Time. Part of, they both did it. They both did it. These are tough tasks for these tools, you guys, but they're able to do it. Let's take out Metabos on speed one. Oh, my bad. I'll, st I'll start the timer at the right time. Time. Take out Hilties on speed one. Hilties on drill as well. Time. Let's do an eight inch timber lock. We are still using uh, Hilti nut setter bits. We're gonna try it on speed two. If it fails, we'll just do it somewhere else. We'll give it one more pull. Nope, it requires speed one. Like I said, it's tough wood. I love this wood. All right, let's move over. Speed one. Time. That takes a lot of power. Let's do Hilties. Let's try a speed two. Let's see if it could do it. I doubt it on this wood. Nope. Hilti failed. Give it one more trigger pull. All right. Hilti failed. Speed two. Uh, speed one is required. Let's take it out. Let's do it right here. Time. All right, let's take Metabos out. Say, so I'm going to hold the battery just in case. We're good. Time. All right, let's take Hilties out. Time. All right, so next let's put the chucks on. So we're gonna use a two inch Milwaukee holdozer bit. Alrighty, let's uh, continue. Let's see if we can do it on speed two. If it's if it struggles too much, we'll just go to speed one. Yeah, it's struggling too much. Let's go to speed one. It is a two inch hole, so it, it does have a little bit of a, it does require a little bit of power. Time. I'll do the same thing for the Hilti. I'll give it one, I'll clear the chute once. Alrighty, so towards the end, we are gonna give uh, Hilti uh, a, one clear out, just like I did for the Metabo. We'll try it on speed two. Let's see if it struggles. One more, if it stops one more time, then I failed it. Yep, okay, speed one is required for the Hilti. This, uh, this stuff smells like burning popcorn.
Right, clear it once. Time. I think I gave it a, a fair shot when it comes to uh, how I uh, cl cleared the flute out on each of them. I think I, that, I think that's fair. Battery's low on it. There we go. This vacuum does come in handy. All right, so for the next two tests, we are gonna do a one and a half inch uh, spade bit, and then we're gonna do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. We're gonna test them both out on speed two, see if either, either of them can do it, and if not, we'll go to speed one, but this is the grand finale. One more pull. Nope, speed one is required. So let's do it right here. It's through. It gets caught, see, like I keep, keep saying, it gets caught on the shrapnel underneath just because of how wide the spade bit is. So the Metabo is able to do that on speed one. Let's see on how Hilti does on speed two. Then if it fails on speed two, we'll go to speed one. All right, let's do a speed two. Let's see if this fails. One more pull. Yep, speed one is re. The hilt he did let go of the of the bit. All right, go to speed one. Right here is good. It's through. Yeah, that's all. Like I said, the shrapnel underneath get the uh, it gets caught. Oh well. All right. So the, for the grand finale, let's see if either of these could finish this. So we're not even gonna try speed two. We're just gonna do this on speed one because I think that they're both gonna fail. This is a hard task, but we will see. Wow! Holy cow! It did it, it did it. Holy cow. All right, good, good job, Metabo. Very good job for doing that. Now let's see if Hilti can do the same. That's why I love 12 volt tools because they're able to do stuff like this, you know, and it's a small tool. That's why I encourage people to get 12 volt tools a lot because like these are actually darn good tools. Good job on Metabo for doing that. All right, let's see how Hilti does. Speed one, it's on drill. Battery life is at three bars, just like the Metabo. That's impressive. Time, that is impressive. You know what, since that, that did that easily, since that did that easily, let's do a test on speed two. All right, so when it comes to both of these tools, the, both of these tools are very powerful 12 volt multi-head drill drivers. This is not mine. This is my friend, Mr. Bates, and I didn't get any more heads with this. So as you can see, when it comes to the Hilti, this kit comes with four, four different heads and you still have the quarter inch hex collet that is in there. That's right there. So like it comes with four additional uh, heads. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I seriously encourage you to go and get 12 volt tools. They hit up these sales where, wherever they are. It doesn't matter if it's Hilti or, or Metabo. You know, the, the Milwaukee M12 system and the DeWalt Extreme are also good lines of tools to get into. But yeah, but when it comes to these two, I just wanted to do a versus video to see on how, what the difference is for the motor. More versus videos coming up with these two with different heads to see if you lose power the more heads you attach. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.